Hey everyone, Terry here with Fife Owens Boat. Now, let's talk a little bit about the fatigue in the industry. Now, um, look, it's a massive, massive topic, eh? Because uh, I've experienced it firsthand. For example, I, I was working uh, in 2017-ish. I worked a roughly about a 15 hour uh, working day and um, anyway I was traveling from I think it was Tom Price to to Misa A now I think I it takes roughly about oh, I can't remember six seven hours ish to try actually six or five hours from Tom Price to to uh, Misa J, and anyway, uh, fair enough. I, I I drove from there to there. Uh, I drove from, sorry, I drove from uh, Tom Price to Misa A. But when I came back to travelling back, now this was during the night, you know, and for myself, I shouldn't have did that. Uh, but I toughened it out. I really toughened it out and survived. But the moral of the story, people, was don't drive around in the Pilbara late at night, like roughly 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. Truly, because especially on Nanutara Road, if you've ever heard of that before, it's a it's a strip from Tom Price to Mr. J. And look man that's a real real dangerous uh, road because uh, there's a lot of live wildlife on the um, on the road and it's hopefully I'll I'll uh, show you a, a video coming right now but uh, look as I said to you before it's, it really is dangerous out there man if you if you're driving out out at night and the topic, hence the topic is fatigue, you know, and fatigue really messes you up. You're not really thinking, you're not, you're not, you're, and if you've had a hot day, or even worse, you know, you're, you're dehydrated and it, it puts more strain on your, your, your body and your mind. But yeah, fatigue, if you're, if you're starting in the industry, a, a fatigue can really stuff you up, eh? Just make sure you just stop, revive, and survive, man. I think I got that from the uh, some kind of safety thing on the news or something like that. But it is straight up true. If you want to survive, really, survive, man, is the key in the industry. In Safely, surviving safely, and that's one one uh, tip I give you there because fatigue can really stuff you up. Look, another another example of fatigue is, oh, is, is drinking, drinking uh, after a, uh, after a day. Fair enough. Look, I don't drink while I'm up up at the up at work but I seen a few of the boys that uh, or boys and sisters and brothers uh, just go go to the pub and smash it smash the beer and then next minute I see them in the morning and you you just got that eerie feeling where you just have a woof of breath when they're talking you know and you could could sort of tell that they've had a few beers you know, but you, you've just got to tell them, you've just got to tell them, hey, you're right to work or what? You've just got to tell them straight up, because otherwise, you know, you're next to, you're next to someone that's perhaps drunk, you know? But anyway, you have to obviously go through breath those and stuff and whatnot, but yeah, but that's, that's probably a, another prime example of, uh, of fatigue. Is drinking 
fair enough after work but actually waking up and because you're dehydrated and not to mention you have to you have to when you're drinking you have to eat before you go to sleep because right? try and absorb all the alcohol and also you gotta sleep at least if you're on if you're on the um, beers what six hours but I'll get to that later on but um, yeah don't 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 come to work fatigued whatever you do because it does affect you physically and mentally straight up man. it does and I've had it first first hand not so much the drinking and stuff because I don't drink up here but man I've seen some brothers and sisters struggle and it's it's not funny look at looking at them eh, struggling but I help help them out but um, in a kind way and it's how you approach it as well but uh, fatigue can really bust you up man I, I truly know especially from that cow cow uh, vid that I just showed you um, yeah it's it can play tricks on your mind and it's not healthy but other than that hopefully that was a little bit educational about fatigue uh, that's my point of view anyway uh, if you want to share your point of view on uh, or any your stories about fatigue just uh, comment down below and let me know uh, other than that if you're interested in this you know this video or more videos to come just subscribe to this channel FIFO Inspo <laughs> subscribe now if you don't mind or if, if you if you want to have a look anyway but uh, yeah that's all about um, I have to share with you right now about fatigue uh, anyway you take care and stay safe out there guys love yous bye